What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's the MOBA expert Sugikan here and today as promised I'm gonna be doing the knockout stage predictions. And yes, when we're talking about the group stage, I mean it is pretty obvious. It was all fixed. When I, you know, released the video, every team went to get went together, they colluded and they threw games intentionally to prevent me from having full stats. Real story. Real story. Okay, the memes aside, okay, let's let's assess some of my predictions. Okay, so uh, only thing that I got right was group C. Okay, and I have to be remembered that most of the groups outside from D like were pretty close. It could have gone like one way or another. If we talk about group A where I predicted uh, G2 to make like last I mean they went four and three that's something that you have to remember and they pretty much you know pull out the Heimerdinger cheese twice which you know won them some games and they really shouldn't have lost there to be honest like these are games that um, Flash Wolves I mean they threw a couple of games which they haven't shouldn't have lost and Africa Freaks made it first and G2 made it second. I think this group could have gone anyway, to be honest. I think all the teams were pretty much equally good. Um, Africa obviously picked up a lot from the first initial games. Um, which is weird because this is the home stage. You should be in the full maximum potential. And Group B, okay, I always predicted Royal was going to first. I got that one right. Um, Vitality, um, once again, they also played a lot of cheese games. Gen G had a couple of those games were super close. And, you know, I don't, I'm not, would have, they would have not made second, but they probably would have, like, made third. I think Vitality should have been the fourth team in this group. But that's, that's my opinion. And then there's Group D. I think this was probably the massive oversight. And... The, I'm, I'm gonna admit that I I don't know why did I predict that um, hundred teams wouldn't be the last. I mean this 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 was I got really emotionally attached to the prediction, and that's when you get lose. Then that's when you lose, because I always had a bit of a problem with fanatic. I don't like the fanboys. It's kind of like TSM with me, and I would always like predict them not to make it out of groups, even though fanatic made it first. I, I still think that they got really lucky in some of those games. They're kind of like one of those lucky teams. They got that Superman cheese shit going on for them, like TSM. And, well, yeah, Invictus should have been first one in this one. I, I decided... G-Rex, I, I probably put some too much, like, faith in them because of the playing stage. That was the wrong thing to do. The Group V was really bad group because... 100 Thieves and G-Rex were so outmatched um, versus Fnatic and Invictus. But I will make the knockout stage. I will prove to you that I will predict this right, okay? So, um, Cloud9 and Africa Freaks are... This is going to be a close game. I think it's going to... Well, let's start with the easy one. Um, which is... Well, there's no really easy ones. All of these games are going to be really close, but I'm going to go for Royal to win G2. I think they're just a stronger team. And in best of five, they're just going to be... Maybe they will get a one game with Heimer. But that will get banned on the second game. I think the drafting is that good, at least, to acknowledge. I mean, obviously, Harnan is not a good ADC. So he will get dumpstered by Uzi. Any, any chance. And he will get dumpstered by a lot of AD carries who are um, <coughs> remaining... And only thing that they can win is pull out cheese. That's why he plays branded Heimerdinger because he can't. He gets outclassed as an AD carry, so he has to play cheese. That says what. Oh, that's what like a bad, worst player always has to do. If you can't win a normal matchup, you have to cheese. That's like understandable. I get where they're coming from. You have to win. But this one, this one go for five games. You can't go three games different cheese. I think they are prepared to like ban uh, branded Heimerdinger. So Royal is gonna win. Uh, KT is the strongest team in the world, probably, and Invictus is really strong. This is probably going to go five games, too, but KT is so good. I mean, they lost only one game, so I'm going to predict KT. 
On this side, it's I'm gonna go with Edward. I think Edward showed pretty much strongness. Fandy could win, but I hate Fanatic, so I'm gonna pan for Edward. And the Africa Freaks, Cloud9 could be interesting. I think Cloud9 has a chance, but I'm not gonna bet against the home team. Okay, I'm not going to. I, I don't think that's gonna happen. And then we have this one, and this is pretty hard to predict. I'm not gonna lie. I think this could be the, this could be the year the Chinese team wins. Could be Korea Korea finals. But I think actually Africa. I think Edward is stronger out of these two. I really think so. If Edward is gonna bring Fnatic, um, they, they're gonna bring bring it to the finals and actually I think this I don't know how I don't know which one to choose KT this is gonna go f definitely five games definitely if KT makes it KT wins the worlds if Royal wins it Royal will win Edward could win Royal too but I think Edward is the third seed so I don't know their head-to-head -head track record but I think it's it's going to be one of those streets. Even if Africa makes it, Africa is not going to beat Royal or KT. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. But I'm going to go. I'm going to go with RNG. Yeah, I think this is the year of the Chinese and Royal has been... Royal has... I mean... Maybe, maybe I'm going to... Okay, actually, I'm going to go with KT. KT. <laughs> Let's go with KT, maybe. No. I'm gonna go with Royal. Okay, that's my predictions. I don't even fucking know at this point like this. <laughs> but I'm gonna say that the, it's gonna be Chinese teams. The, my prediction will be, this is what I'm gonna bet, is that there's gonna be Chinese and Korean teams on semis. The, the NA and EU will make it in. Thanks for watching. I don't have much anything else to add here. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.